You know your car's going to be fucking insanely loud, don't you? <laughs> yeah. You do know that. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an early start on Supercars of London because it is the day the Project Army Tricks or Project Noise, as Barry said, Barry is going to be the guy who's fitting my exhaust system, it begins. I'm so excited and I'm not driving the Lamborghini because I need to get back from SB Race Engineering in the evening. It's coming. Oh, it looks so good on the road. <laughs> Look how good it looks. Oh, yeah. So the reason why this is such a massive job and the engine needs to come out is because this is how difficult it is to get to the catalytic converters and also the headers of the car. You can see that heat shield there, here, that is where we need to get to, or well, Barry needs to get to, there's no we about it, Barry's getting to it, and that's the engine. <laughs> so they're right at the bottom, right there and there, so the engine needs to come out so that we can change them over and make this car the loudest Lambo in Europe. Well, that's my aim anyway. But look at all the heat shield here. This is mental to see this. 
Oh, I'm trying to reach up to see there. You're in it. I don't want to be. Yeah, but Barry's the famous one. Right. You both work here. You both help me with my car. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> So we're a couple hours in to the Army Tricks projects. I am sat here next to a Dino, and you can see the 430 Challenge right there. My Lamborghini is inside, but there's so much going on. Everyone's on the phone, or the music's playing, but also Barry is there concentrating. I don't particularly want to get in his way. So every few hours or so, I'm going to come back and check in with you guys to tell you a little bit about what's going on. And then we're going to be heading back, heading back inside to the time lapse, to just checking out what's going on. I'm trying to try and get some cool close-ups with this camera now that it's off charge and has got battery. Basically, Barry has just been removing all of the plastic engine cover and also the glass engine cover that comes up and down that you have access to the oil. Um, basically, we need to remove all of that and then we're gonna hoist the car up into the air on the ramp so that we can get access to all of the nuts and bolts that need to get that massive V10 engine out. The engine needs to come out because like I showed briefly, the manifolds are right at the bottom of the engine, which uh, makes it very difficult to get and also very inaccessible. So um, at the moment, I'm excited, but the project is gonna be a long one. So uh, let's head back inside, check out where Barry is in terms of getting or stripping the car back and um, hopefully we can see the underside of the car very soon. Is that the exhaust system here? Yeah. Massive. Do you reckon it's similar to the R8? So it's going to be really heavy? Ugh, what a weight save. Straight in the bin. <laughs> Here we go. It's not even midday, but the system is off. You can see the catalytic converters down to the headers on both sides. Although this side looks a bit more trickier than la than that side. That one looks a little bit freer. But there we go. Update number two. We are, or well, the time is, quarter to twelve and we have got the exhaust system finally off. We've got all of the, the car is completely stripped from the back. There are still two or three more stages that need to happen. I think one of them is the, a bar across the engine bay that you may have seen. Um, and then there's two more components that need to come out and then the engine is gonna be fully exposed and then we can start cracking on with getting the engine out so that we have access to the headers, so we have access to the cap pipes. And then the fun begins. So we're less than three hours in, and personally, I think it's going very well. Barry is working very meticulously and precisely to ensure that all of the bolts that he takes out are put in the right place. And um, to be, I've never seen anyone work like that. Like, I've seen Barry change exhaust systems day in, day out, and he absolutely nails it. Moving on, I have a package here. You may have seen on Twitter that I was followed by an account called Brick or Potato. Now, this company, I don't really know whether you could call it a company, sends anonymous bricks or potatoes, and one has just arrived at SB Race Engineering. And by the feel of it, this is a potato. And here we go. I have been sent a potato. <laughs> I, just, I don't even know what to say. Is there nothing on the other side? 
just get a spoiler. We're coming to the end of today's video because I'm currently filming on Friday and I want this video to go live at 5 p.m. on Friday. So it's 3 p.m. and the car is stripped back so the engine is pretty much ready to come out. So I'm gonna continue filming but end the video now so that tomorrow's video or Sunday's video, depending on how much footage I get this afternoon and if any um, of the engine comes out and the headers get replaced tomorrow, then it will depend on when the next video comes out. But day one has been completed in terms of video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I know that I've been coming back into my car to just give you guys an update. And I know there's been a few time lapses with a bit of music which I've tried to kind of keep as mainstream as possible. Um, but it's been a good day here. The weather's been fantastic and I'm still wearing this stupid hat. So, I <laughs> um, yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed day one of the Army Tricks project going ahead at SB Race Engineering. And also thank you to Brick and Potato, Brick or Potato, um, for anonymously sending me a potato that says get a spoiler. So I'll look into that as well. <laughs> I will see you either tomorrow or Sunday, depending on how much content I get over the next day and a half or so. And then from Monday and Tuesday next week, all hell is going to break loose on Supercars of London YouTube channel. I hope that my microphones are going to be able to cope. If not, we're going to have to get more cameras. <laughs> <laughs> this is all one big excitement build up that I just, I don't even know how loud that car is going to be. There's a sharp left here. <laughs> There's a sharp left here. <laughs> yeah, <I can. laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun.